आप देख रहे हैं अल्फा डिफेंस अल्फा डिफेंस हिंदी में आपका स्वागत है In this video we will talk about the massive artillery push of Indian army following the Kargil war a committee was created that recommended field artillery rationalization plan according to this plan Indian army was supposed to induct 3000 to 3600 advanced artillery pieces into its services but over the period of time this plan was neglected things did not work into the right direction but now things are changing Just yesterday Indian army moved a proposal to buy 307 units of advanced stored artillery gun systems Now this proposal of Indian Army will be converted into a proposal by Ministry of Defence and then it will be presented to Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister of India. So in theory this gun has overcome all the technical hurdles and now the things which are pending are more or less formalities. The advanced stored artillery gun system is designed by DRDO and there are two private sector companies which are making these guns in India with the help of the DRDO. These private sector companies are Tata and Kalyani and the prototype guns developed by these companies are slightly different from each other. Initially when this gun was sent for trial during one of the trials the barrel of the gun bursted due to faulty ammunition which resulted in further delay in the induction process. During this time numerous articles surfaced stating that gun is having some problems and it has to go back to the drawing board. At that point of time team Alpha Defense said that this is part of the process the problem will be identified isolated and then rectified exactly same thing happened and now this gun is ready for induction there were also reports around the weight of this gun many claimed since the weight of the gun is more than 20 tons indian army will not be inducting this gun into its services this entire debate came into the picture only when indian army released a request for proposal for the acquisition of 155 mm 52 caliber towed artillery gun systems In this request for proposal Indian Army mentioned that they would prefer to induct a gun with a weight around 15 tons and the rationale behind that clause was the existing fleet of field artillery tractors the current fleet can support only up to 15 tons of guns the current fleet can pull the guns with the weight around 15 tons however there are some tractors in limited number with Indian Army that can pull guns as heavy as 20 tons now with the road cleared for advanced stored artillery gun systems The next in line will be mounted gun system that we saw during Defence Expo. On your screen right now you can see the gun that was displayed during Defence Expo. This system uses a truck from Bemel and the howitzer mounted on top of it is basically a tax mounted on truck. As per field artillery rationalization plan, the Indian Army will induct 1580 towed guns and 814 truck mounted guns. The plan also includes 180 units of tracked self propelled howitzers like K9 Vajras 180 unit wheeled self propelled howitzers like howitzers mounted on Tata Kessel type platforms and 145 unit of ultra light howitzers now we all know that india has inducted 145 unit of ultra light howitzers acquired from united states of america these guns are called m777 and they are already operational with indian armed forces talking about the track howitzers india has already inducted 100 unit of k9 vajra acquired from south korea and assembled in india although the initial plan was to induct only 100 unit of these guns but now indian army is changing its requirement and likely they will induct 100 more unit of these guns into its services in towed category we have multiple guns that are available to indian army starting from atax dhanush bharat 52 and afghan dhanush Whereas on the truck mounted systems the mounted ATAGs and the mounted Dhanush are two options that are available to Indian Army so in theory there is only one type of gun that is not available to Indian Army today is self propelled wheeled howitzer although it can be easily obtained by mounting ATAGs or Dhanush on top of a Tata Kestrel and this is why I strongly believe a ATAGs mounted on Tata Kestrel coming out of house of Tatas will be the best option for this requirement that's about it for today's video thank you for watching keep watching alpha defense jai hind